Welcome to Tech Brothers Dahmer. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload files from on premises to the Azure Data Lake Generation 2 by using the SSIS package. So, uh, I am making this video because uh, in the previous couple of videos, I made some small mistake, and uh, I don't know if that's my uh, lack of knowledge or uh, lack of experiments. And uh, here I'm gonna uh, show you what did I say in last videos and what is the right solution. So if you, you go first of all what you need do you need a uh, storage that should be generation 2 ADLS uh, uh, type 2 right so what we are going to do we are going to type uh, storage uh, here and uh, once uh, you do storage it's going to take you to storage accounts uh, and uh, you will be creating a storage account. Now it does not say Azure Data Lake so if you say Data Lake uh, storage or anything like that you are not finding it you have data lake storage generation one but for generation two you don't find anything like that so you're going to work with the storage account and there is the option to select data lake storage generation two type so we are selecting here now we selected storage account create and in the creator what we are going to do we are going to provide our subscription let's provide our subscription provide our resource group tech brothers it rg and now we will be providing the name so i'm going to call it the tech brothers it storage maybe gen 2 that's the name you would like to have is ecus is just fine now instead of creating it here you're going to go to the advanced and in the advanced that's what you're going to select you're going to select enable hierarchical namespace once you do that that means you are creating a data lake storage generation two type of storage so if you don't do that it's a normal blob storage and if you will click this guy it's going to be become a storage generation two type so i'm going to click right there now you see that the blob storage is grayed out so that's all good now we don't have to do anything else and uh, it is uh, creating the, our adls generation two type of storage now meanwhile it is creating that uh, let's go to the uh, visual studio and create ssis package now we are going to go to the new project and here you're going to select integration services project i'm going to call this adls gen 2 okay so hit ok and uh, no i don't want to save it now let's go here and uh, we see that our uh, pro uh, project is created and uh, if you go right there and uh, what you are going to see you are seeing that uh, the Azure is the grayed out. Why? Because uh, I have uh, installed Azure feature pack for uh, SSIS 2017 or SQL Server 2017. So I have to change my project to target, uh, target project so you are going to right click here go to properties and here you see target server version I am saying here. SQL Server 2019 and my Azure uh, feature pack is for install for SQL Server 2017. Once I hit apply, hit OK and hit OK, yes to all, yes. And now you will be able to see those uh, all the different tasks under the Azure. So double click on the package and uh, now it's uh, right there loading and uh, now you can click on Azure and you see all those uh, tasks are available. Because uh, uh, if you click right here, download azure pack and you're gonna see few things here uh, see right there what's happening here you have all that uh, different uh, uh, azure feature packs for each of the version uh, sql server 2019 sql server 2017 16 14 and 12. for me i had a sql server 2017. so if i open my project or create my project in 2019 uh, that's feature pack uh, tasks are not going to be available because i was uh, on 2017. so i have to change my project uh, according to the feature pack i have installed so my target server should be that now we have these First of all, what may uh, mistake in the previous video I made? Uh, I use Azure Blob, uh, Azure Blob upload task. Okay, so in this task, when I was creating a video, you can uh, upload the files and uh, uh, you know uh, all that uh, different files, uh, everything from uh, local to the Blob storage. But uh, when I was uh, explaining that, I was saying that you can load the uh, uh, files to the Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2. That's where I was wrong. But I was. Uh, it was not just me because Microsoft have given the option. It was showing me you can have that. So I click on the new connection and see right there it says 
data lake storage generation too. If I select that, even the connection will be successful, but still it will throw me error. So let's do that. Now let me go back to the storage. Our resource is ready. And uh, that's the name of our account or storage. And uh, that I'm going to copy from here. Uh, let me go back uh, to the this guy. Paste it there. And now I'm going to use the access key. Yes. So let's click here. Go to the access keys. I'm going to say show keys. And uh, then I'm going to say copy. Okay. Now when I go back here. It's a test is successful, looks good. Now I can go to the next level, hit OK. Now this is the, I made the connection with the Azure Data Lake storage uh, generation two type, right? Now it is asking me, hey, what is your blob container? I don't have it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and create one. So let me go to the storage and uh, I'm gonna go to containers and create a container here. So go to container and we will create a container. So input file okay so input uh, that's what I'm gonna give a name here say input now uh, blob directory I don't care about that okay local directory I'm gonna go to the navigate to the input folder and in the input folder I have uh, let's see let me copy that guy yeah input folder has that and now I'm gonna provide the file name so let me copy and provide the file name right here now see right there it everything is looking good once uh, I hit OK and see what happened it's an only the following services of Azure storage connection manager is supported blob storage and blob storage emulated so that's where the problem is why even you give me the option to uh, first of all uh, select in my connection manager like a uh, generation 2 and then let me create the connection manager and let's use it at the end you are throwing me this a uh, warning so that's the problem that uh, I don't know Microsoft might fix this one otherwise uh, many people like me they will be confused and spend time here now let's uh, do this uh, there is a task that can be used to uh, load the file from your local uh, or on premises to the Azure uh, that are like the generation two. So which one is that one? So that's going to be your flexible task, file task. That's what you will use. So I'm going to just uh, disable this one. This is not being used or we can just delete it. Doesn't matter. And uh, we are going to use a flexible file task. Let's open it. Now we want to copy the files. Yes. F source connection type. Local file system. Yes. On top of that, if you see here, source file uh, folder path, uh, most of the time we what we do, we create a connection. But here it's not giving you connection. You're not really creating a connection. Actually, what you are going to do, you're going to paste that path. So we are going to paste the path here. And now it's asking source file name. So in my case, I'm going to copy one source file name, this guy. And uh, you're gonna paste right there. Now next uh, is asking your destination. Local file system you wanna copy or you wanna go to the Azure? Yes, I would like to take my this file and copy to the ADLS generation two. So Azure storage. Go to the destination connection. And here you can use the same connection we just created because uh, uh, it was for ADLS two. So it's gonna ask you the same information. So if you create, let's create a new connection anyways. So see right there, is same um, type of, uh, um, uh, options you have here services so you're gonna select a type to provide the account name and key the same one we have just did it before so we are gonna use the same connection manager right there okay now it is asking you input folder name path so it's gonna be input uh, that folder we created now we can further create uh, subdirectories and all those kind of things but uh, I'm fine with that so I don't have to do anything like that so what we are going to do here, we are going to provide the file path here. So that's the file. Now hit OK. And you're going to right click and execute or right click on the package and execute package. So our package is completed and let's go to progress and it has uploaded one file. So copy data from a local storage to Azure storage. Let's go to the Azure storage here and that's where we are. And uh, in the ADLS uh, generation 2, we can see that in this container, our file is there. We can uh, edit the file and uh, see the contents. Uh, it has uh, just one record. Now, what I would like to do, I would like to copy all the file from the input folder that's on my local to the this uh, 
uh, ADLS generation tool. Now I'm going to go back here and instead of putting the file name here, I can put the asterisk. Once I do that, uh, it should uh, copy all the files. So let me stop my package and you can see the change I made it. I did a star. So, um, but I want, sorry, I should have actually done star here. So, and uh, also leave this one blank because I don't need uh, any um, destination file name and all that, right? So my uh, source file name is asterisk. That means I get everything from there, okay? So let's uh, right click, execute pack, uh, task, and it should copy all those files which are existing in this input folder to our ADLS generation two container. So they are loading right now, and you can see that uh, it is telling a six file has been uploaded uh, or copied from our local uh, to the Azure um, uh, data lake generation two type. Let's refresh, and you can see all those files are there. So if you want to take a look, you can click here, take a look. It's uh, really good. Yeah. So small files. All right. So this is how you will be copying uh, your files from your local um, computer or from on-premises to the Azure Data Lake Generation 2 type containers and by using a flexible task, um, file task, that's what you will use. You will not use Azure uh, um, blob upload task. I showed you there are some limitations. I was struggling with that. And um, the way Microsoft has put it, like, oh, they give you option to create the connection and show you in the drop down, but does not provide the facility to use that. So you will be using a flexible file task. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.